this is such a beautiful beast. So sexy. <laughs> Wouldn't have picked you as a petrol head. Oh, it's just knowing it's worth twice my annual salary. You did rob a bank, didn't you? <laughs> Only a very small one. Oh. Are all redheads as nosy? You can tell me. I'm very good at keeping secrets. I could tell you. But you know what I'd have to do then? <laughs> Look, it's a card from someone her kids must have made it. Cute. And there's baby Henry. And that good looking stick man, that'd be me, right? Hey, you know how Bob was talking about setting up some sort of charity thing for Christmas? I thought you weren't keen. Yeah, well, I think we deserve a party. You bet we do. So, but then you see some of the people that come through here. What do you want us to do? Send them all a Christmas cracker and a mince pie? What if there was some sort of trust to help with food and stuff? You know, like transport, childcare, that sort of thing. And what if there really was a Santa Claus? G'day. Hi, what are you doing here? Looking for you. Came to say goodbye. Why? Where are you going? Got a job down south. Oh, Nick, look, I told you you wouldn't be able to leave without saying goodbye to mine. Well, what do you say, Lucas? Thank you for the boat. Yeah, same here. Hey? The silver one, man. She's brilliant. Worth the five grand now? <laughs> Might even be worth an invitation back up here. <laughs> there will always be room for you. You know that. Wherever we end up. Tina Annie, see her godfather regularly, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said all that way. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. I'm not going to hug you. Cheers, mate. <laughs> you need a lift anyway? Bus station. Let's do it. Sorry for making such a nuisance of myself. <laughs> Mates. Mates. Lovely as this is, I'd much prefer the comfort of a nice big bed. I just happen to know where there is one. Clever man. your car, sir? What are you grinning about? It's this weird thing I do when I'm happy. Can't seem to stop. Oh, well, it could be contagious. Do you realise we haven't had one argument tonight? Uh, that's because I've been biting my tongue all evening. I think it's bleeding. Well, I hope not. I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself on my account. If you told me to stay, I would consider going down that same old track. Hi. Since you've been away. Child in the room. Oh, I'm, 
I'm sorry, honey, we didn't mean to wake you. Hi, Scarlett. Hi. She hates me. Oh, boy. And Shortland Street is back tomorrow at the earlier time of 11.30. Later today, musician and jungle survivor Mylene Plass joins Blonnet and Shayna on the afternoon show. That's on the way at 3 o'clock today here on RTE1.